Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Station Ears. I apologise about the slight hiatus. I had an accident uh, about nine days ago, ten days ago. Uh, I fell over, and I've badly bruised my coccyx on my tailbone. And I've not been able to sit down properly, which means I've not been able to sit at the desk and play any games. So, um, yeah. I don't think make any videos for about the last 10 days. I'm back now though. Um, can't say I'm completely comfortable, but it's a lot better than it was. So, thanks for bearing with me guys. Um, so while I'm in here, let me change that over before I forget, although it's okay. What were we doing last time? We set that up. We set that up. I wanted... Oh, I'd expand my base and out there. I need to finish expanding out there. So I need to push that wall back and put some new ceiling in. Um, so let's get on with doing that. So uh, some of the things I've been thinking about while I've been um, laid up. If you're watching somebody play this game through, there is you know, a fair bit of time you've got to go mining. Um, and if I'm honest, it's probably the most boring part of the game. Um, you can do things to distract yourself, sick some music on, things like that. But uh, let me just check something. Let's see if I can find something. So let me explain it. Oh, get back. Come on. Where did I put my old, old, old? Um, drilling. Let me just quickly go and get my old drilling. Um, drill. Drilling drill? My old drill. Mining drill, that's the word I'm looking for. I must have put it in here somewhere. <coughs> there it is. So let's just grab that quickly. And while I'm here, I don't want to run around with a um, sign on me. They're useful for marking things up like this. I think I showed this last time where that's power in, that's power out, so my batteries are charging. And I think I showed that I hidden this behind a roller door, which is just part of the door kit. So anyway, let's go back outside quickly. So yeah, so there is, at the early stages, quite a bit of time spent mining in this game. But one thing I want to show you, so to begin with, you start with a really crappy miner, yeah, mining drill, like this one. Let me just drop a battery into there, so we can show it working. And stick that in my hand. And I'll stick it in my other hand. So this is the old drill, uh, let me find somewhere where there's some bits I might want to actually mine. Let's see, here. Turn the door, right click, turned on. As you can see, it does the job, it gets you know, gets rid of the dirt, it mines slowly, you know. It's good enough to begin with. Yeah, it, it is suitable to start with. However, turn that one off, switch this one. The heavier mining drill is so much more. Now look at this, you know, it is just blowing through this. It's such a rate, and you can excavate so much material with this drill. Let me just clear some missing my backpack so I don't lose it all. Um, you know, it, it's it's 20 times better. Well, maybe it's not 20. Certainly good 10 times better. And you can really mine quickly with it. Um, did I bring my... Let's turn it off a second. The other thing I want to show, I think I showed you last time, was the mining... Um, no, atmosphere analyzer. I probably don't have the right card out here, do I? All scanner, there we go. So let's just open that. Stick on my backpack. Stick the all scanner in there. And now, right, I finished with that, so I just take the back out that quickly. Where'd it go? Up the top. Um, let's close some of these down. Recover that battery. I can stick that back in there out of the way. Don't want to run around with it. So now with the tablet, so in the beginning, this is this is all you've got at the beginning to try and find all this tablet. I think I showed you last time. Again, it does the job. It's better than what it used to be. And, you know, it can help you find ores and things. So there we go. It took us straight down to some, if you didn't see that, um, it took us down to some uh, volatiles. Again, just, you know, bring it up. There's more stuff just down here and just around here. So if you just drill out again with this heavy drill, 
you can see it's taking us to and it stops you trying to sort of mine where there's nothing in the sort of here like this patch just under me at least me i know there's loads of all around but you know sort of if you get a patch like this where there's nothing or you've mined a patch out then you can see quickly with the all scanner that we've done it rather than just having to waste time and energy trying to see so that's what you get at the beginning but again i've shown you this i believe you then can upgrade to the glasses with the um sensor unit with the all scanning sensor unit and now you can actually see where everything is in the ground so again that's an improvement however this still can get a bit tedious so the developers have thought of that and they've come up with some neat tricks or some neat items so let me just get rid of that turn that off turn him off let's close that put him away so I haven't got any of these built, I will be building them later, but what you can do is you can build a deep miner. So deep miner, this is it. It's a kit. Um, let's just look what it does. So deep deep miner. Let's go the deep miner kit. Yeah, deep miner kit we can So you manufacture this. And then, oh no, it goes straight away. The deep miner, oh here it goes, here's the various steps. Deep miner um, takes 500 watts to run. It runs continuously. You place it down and it mines away forever. However, it doesn't kick out ore directly. It kicks out dirty ore. So you can't do with anything with that dirty ore. You need to um, process it somehow. And the way you do that is with a Combustion centrifuge. Again, to show you what you need to build at. So it's not overly demanding to build. Um, combustion centrifuge. And this is what it looks like. And you put your dirty ore in this side. You best way is to either shoot straight from your deep miner. And then your ore comes out this side. And this finds everything or the deep miner will dig up anything that's not nice. So it will dig up um, silicon, gold, iron, copper, powder carbons, silver, um, uranium, anything that's not a nice. So they won't dig up water, volatiles, nitrice, or oxide. And to use this, you have to, it's a bit fiddly when the first time you use it. a couple of levers here you can't see very well. You've got to adjust those to get this thing wound up and rotate and it needs a fuel um mixture to coming in uh, i need the fuel mixture as an input which is 60 percent 66 percent volatiles and um 33 percent oxygen um to run but it processes you all really quickly um but to do that you've got to have a little um fuel farm set up so there are you know there are steps to doing to getting these set up it does take effort it does take a bit of time but then they improve the speed you get ores. So then you don't have to go mining so much. Following on from that, there is, let me, let me can't remember which one it's um, under. Is it the electronic sprinter? Come on. You have an Amy kit. Now an Amy is a little robot, which you can direct to go mine for you. Um, I think I mentioned previously about filling all the holes, so things like this and this and this. You've got to fill all these in with the um, terrain modifier to stop your little Amy bot falling into them. Because she falls into them, gets stuck, and uh, there's nothing you can do about it. You've got to go and rescue it. It'll not recover itself. Um, so yeah, so you need to get rid of all the holes. That's the downside of this. And then you've also got to have a it's set up so there's a a place it can come back and charge. So to charge it, obviously you can't. You want to keep swapping batteries out. You can use let's just go to here. That, these wireless charging cells with a um, wireless base station. Here we go. Power transmitter. That's what it is. So omnidirectional means it broadcasts in any, you know any direction. And uh, this one's more directional. So I think it's along the line of 
the um, direction of the butt pointing. And these will transmit power to those chargeable batteries. So you have to have your aiming point come back to a location where it's in range of one of these and it will uh, char recharge its batteries and it, you can get it to do that automatically. At the same time it will dump off any resources it has so you've got to set up a, uh, an input chute which you can then take the resources and dump them somewhere either into something like a vending machine or later on we can use SDB silos um, which is a good way of storing stuff. Um, now you may think oh my god how am I going to program a robot to do all that? You don't need to. So um, there are people out there already who've done a lot of the hard work for you. If you don't know anything about programming, I'm not a good programmer. You do what I do. You go onto the Steam Workshop, you find the um, appropriate program, you download it, and then just using your laptop as normal. Oh, drop me laptop. So on your laptop as normal, you would go onto um, your library. And in here, if you've downloaded it from Steam, it will appear. And I think I've got the Amy bot in here. Uh, da, 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 Amy Base Controller Version 2. This is by a guy called Cows Are Evil. Uh, Mickey's name is. Um, I found this really useful. Uh, I don't know when the last time we updated it was, but it's good. You set them up some waypoints and you set up the point where you wanted to return home and the point you wanted to mine. Once that's done, you just let it go and off it goes. I will get around to doing some of this and showing how to do this, but again, it goes off, does the mining for you, you don't need to do it. And then, after that, so let's just clear out of here, towards the later um, parts of the game, you build a rocket. And uh, do not you, it's under you. You with the rocket manufactory. So this is a printer like one of these you set up um, and then you can use that to print all the parts you need for a rocket. Now there's a lot of parts, it's quite complicated. Uh, you do need a computer to run it um, and again but there's not much programming in that. They've done actually quite graphical in this in this instance so you you just go to the computer, look at the graphical interface, tell it to take off to a certain location scan that area and either start mining or return home. Um, the things you've got to consider obviously you need fuel for the rockets, you need make sure you don't run out of fuel when you're in space, you need silos inside the rocket to um, receive the ores when it's being mined and depending on whether you want to mine ice or ores you need different silos, there's batteries, there's flight controllers, there's loads of bits going into this rocket. Again it sounds complicated, it is a bit complicated but it's not too bad Rocket comes back, lands on its launch pad, you have umbilicals, so you've got a, a power umbilical to recharge its batteries, you have a um, shoot umbilical to take the ores that you've mined, you have a ISIS umbilical to take any ISIS you might have mined, and you have a fuel umbilical to refuel your, your ship. Um, again, it sounds all complicated, but it's not that difficult. So playing this game, you know, you, you've got to think about what you're doing, you do have to think about it but you're not going to be spending all your time mining. Certainly the second half of the game isn't spent up there trying to mine ores and find ores to mine them. There are ways and means of automating these systems. Like I say, the easiest one is a deep miner, and I will set one of those up fairly quickly, I think. Um, let me expand my base, and I think the next thing we do is look at um, setting up a deep miner. And I've just noticed that, uh, yeah, this is what happened to... Um, ooh, what's going on here? Why am I not going to space in there? Okay, that's because it's up my mining belt. Yeah. Um, this is what happens to light solar panels uh, if they're left out in a the storm. They get damaged, and eventually the damage comes so much they, it destroys them. Um, and you can't fix them at this point, you've literally just got to dismantle them. So, let's just get rid of that. Uh, can't use it anymore, it's gone. However, the heavy solar panels, these ones... Whoa, 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 whoa. I will get used to this jetpack in a minute. So these ones, or the heavy panels, don't take any damage, but obviously they cost more to manufacture, they require more um, alloys, and they take more glass. 
but they don't take any damage from storms. Certainly not on, on Mars anyway. Right, back to our upgrade. Let's go back and start doing this. I need walls. I need lots of walls. How many walls do I need? Let's have oh, head put that. Careful, I don't break my helmet. So I need one, two, three. I right, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need 18 for the roof. I need six for down there. So that's 24. And then three for either side. That's 30. Probably just don't need them ones, but I'm going to put panels on there anyway to make it look nice. So I need 30 walls. Do I have any walls on me? Have I got anything in there? No. See more holes I need to fill. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll do it offline. I'll fill the holes offline. You don't want to watch me go running around filling holes so I can put an aiming bot to work. Whoa. Come on. Right, so any steel in here? Silicon. I can't remember what ores I have left. Copper. Nothing. And steel. There's plenty of steel in there. Uh, just wang this up. Um, what I do want to do while I'm here quickly. I forget because it's annoying me. Take them up. Let's drop them for the moment. Oh, wrong one. I want that one. And I want to put down. So this has got two versions. He says, Go on, let me see it. Should be left hand and a right hand. Why can't I see the right hand? Unload a stacker. Why? Oh yeah, I see right. So the arrows are changing. So I'm wrong. I didn't notice the arrows are moving. So that if I rotate it that way, and I have a lever on this side. Like so, against the thing. So, saves out run around all the time. And then let's quickly sort out the wiring. So no one likes messy wiring. Is that done? Let's quickly lay this back down. Thank you. Which way are we looking? That way, yes. Right, so now I can just access this here while I'm working, rather than I keep running around the, the um, sorter. Um, let's make this... Oh, what we got in here? Let's make it up to 100. If you want to just use my small increment, you press C and click. Let's turn that on and eject all that. Stick all this lot back in here for now, except for the steel. And that's, that's me running around the other side of this. Move the handle. Um, reject that. What's that one? That is iron. You can go back in there. And you and you can go off. I need steel walls. Wall kit, there we go. Set that going. I've got in here. That's an iron wall kit. I don't want iron, I want steel. Let's just quickly have a look inside while they're printing. How are we doing? What's that? Iron wall kit. Ah, uh, not iron wall kit. I don't want iron. What's that? I want more iron wall kit. It's got more iron wall kits. I shake the sticker. I do see the steel there though. There are the wall kits I want. Iron sheet. More wall kits, but they're the right ones. Uh, steel sheets can go up there. I'll stick these outside, I don't need them in here. Glass, I will need that. Drop that in there. Iron sheets, I'll just drop them in there for the minute. Oh, it's just swapping. Okay.
Don't be a doofus. Come on. All right, let's stop these in here. All right, that's okay. Nothing there I really need. Have the water and food doing okay. Just head out. Woo! Got a few of these. Let's stop off for the moment. How many is that? Oh, look at that, 30. Spot on. Couldn't have done better if I tried. Um, I do need some um, plastic sheets and glass. Do I need plastic sheets and glass? I need steel sheets for the... No, actually that might be enough. The reason being the ones with the frames over them, around them, don't need glass or plastic. I think it's steel sheets. I've got plenty of steel sheets. So, let's stop building quickly. One there, one there. There. See, it's like, see, nice blue solid battery, fully charged. This one, I want it to be a composite wall. On glass, 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 and glass. And now, ceiling. Oop, didn't mean to hit that. Go on, rotate to the top. Oh, really furious me sometimes. Right, there we go. Type one, just go on there, there, and there. I will have to seal that one. This one's back to glass. Plastic. Oh, I've got plenty of plastic. Look at that. I've got loads of plastic. Let's quickly add the plastic to all these. few more and then we'll have a uh, let's go put the glass in but I want to put the glass in from the outside so or the last pane of glass in from the outside I must remember that so I don't trap myself inside <laughs> wouldn't be the first time I don't need one Leave that one empty for now so I can get out. Come on, I know you want to. Oh, am I going to have enough glass? I'm not sure, you know. Not sure at all. I might be a couple short. I do quite like a six second effect on this glass. Oh, I'm going to have literally one short. How frustrating. So the one to go in here is missing. So I need to go make some glass. And obviously glass is just made from silicon. We jump over that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Any silicon in there? Oh, silicon in already. Give me one sheet of glass. I need to do a little bit of welding, I think. I did replace my welder, didn't I? Wee, 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 wee. There, where are we? There we go. 
Let's put that one in there. That's now all sealed. If I want to... Where's the steel sheets? Bring those down. Put that up there. Take my welder. Where were those unwelded ones? That one there. That one doesn't really need to be welded, but I will. And then there's some down here. Again, these are ones I've put in just to sort of pop, you know, lay down for expansion. Let's use up the glass there, the steel sheets I've got. There we go. At least now I can walk and I don't fall down the hole. Um, put you away. How's everything doing? Jetpack's okay, food and water's okay, oxygen's okay, waste tanks reasonably okay, and filters are okay. Right, let's go in. Although I am dirty. Right, let's do a quick save. Let's make sure I don't kill myself off. And then um, close you, you, and you, and you. What's the pressure on here? 72. This is going to send it down. As long as it stays above about 40, 35, 40, we'll be fine. So what are we at now? 47. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so cover plastic. And then remove the walls. This is just a big old area. Okay, I want to do some bits of that, so now I want to be able to move all of this over here out the way. Because, quite frankly, it's right in my way there. But I'll probably do it offline, I'll just move all this offline around the corner. Same sort of setup just to here, just to make sure it's done. Um, the reason I don't set this up outside is because this is an, an insulated tank. And it slowly... Oh, wrong card in there. It slowly adapts to the temperature in the room it's in. So it's currently 25 in here. That will slowly go up to a match of 25 degrees centigrade. Um, obviously it's only taking 1.22 joules uh, a second. So yeah, it'll take a while. But that's why I leave it in here, don't put it outside. And the nitrogen from here, obviously just vent into this room. It, uh, cause I don't have put it into... Yeah, I do have it into the room. It just adds a bit more pressure to this room. So I am dirty, I've noticed that, so let's, uh... Oh, a load of frames there, where'd they come from? Got on your nose. Um... Okay, so let's... I f thought this is an easier way of doing this after throwing everything on the floor last time. And all I've got to do is take this off. So let's come up here. Stick my jetpack in there, and now I can just get a shower. There we go. And then all I need to do is pick up my jetpack, and I hunt around for all my other bits. Helmet, lenses, um, spacesuit, and clothing, and finally mining belt. How much dirty water we got in there? Oh, whole eight litres. Sure can cope with that. Um, how are we doing plant-wise? Uh, soybean seeding. So all that will need to be sorted out at some point. 
Okay, I'll do a lot of that offline. You don't want to watch me sit and just harvesting. Now we're down to an input of 17 watts and an output of 1.15 kilowatts. Oh, this will be sucking pressure in, won't it? No, not at the minute. Because it must be more than 10%. CO2 in here, yeah. I forgot I set that up. That was handy. <laughs> You forget so much in, in a week, it's, it's crazy. Um, and I've got all there, I don't really want all there. Where's he gone? You can go in there. And what else have we got in all? Uh, 50, you can come down, 50 down, 50 down, 50 down, 24 can go up, 50 down. Wow, we've got a lot of silver. Uh, that's okay, just sort this out a little bit. Right, so that's our base expanded. Um, let's just move our beacon. Why won't you turn on? That's right, it's clicking the wrong bit. And move our battery. Um, Solar pan. I should move it over slightly more. There we go. Right, so our base is getting quite large now. We've got a lot of space in here now. Um, also, you need to grow more plants, but I also need to bring more things in here and do more stuff in here. Um, we could do with a proper oven instead of this microwave and this canning setup. Um, we could also do set up some harveys which auto harvest the fruit or the food and replant, which makes life easier again. So it's, you know, it's automation in this game. You just got to develop it and um, just keep advancing all the time. Have a slurp of water. And then, um, what food do I have on me? Any? No, it's all in the fridge, isn't it? Which would be a sensible place to keep it, unless I've got something in my backpack. No. It's all in here. So, which potato's the worst? That one. Actually, you know what? I don't need to do that. Oh, crap, I don't want to do that. Because I've got loads of tins in here I made. That was the whole point of it. Right, okay. Sun's coming up. And they get a better sense of scale this room now. Um, it is quite so big, in fact. When I'm over here, the far side's just about missed it out. Um, I certainly won't be making any bigger than this. I might have to see if I can adjust the settings so it doesn't look so misty. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. Uh, for now, anyway. Um, thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. Uh, I will be releasing more new content. I will be doing lots more in here, like setting up Harvey, setting up deep miners, um, and cooking proper cooking stations and things like that. And I will also be setting up a rocket and showing you how to use that. So stick along for the ride. And I'll catch you next time. Strong Flag Gamer wishing you good night.